What's up guys and welcome back to House Flipper. We are back with this gym right here and uh, it's time to take on this downstairs. So I'm sure you guys remember but from our last episode we did the master bedroom up here as well as this little weird skinny kids room back here kind of opened each of these up a little bit. But now we are going to be working on the downstairs. So I tore down all the walls. We're going to have kind of like an open kitchen living room type space and then we've got uh, we've got the office back here which I'm gonna turn into kind of like a, a gaming studio setup type thing so this should be good hopefully we can can make this look good we'll see what happens I'm gonna say let's let's start with the office here I'm gonna get rid of that radiator and uh, we gotta pick out some paints obviously so what do we want to go with for an office what would be a good office color I mean really anything simple you know grays beiges sand almond could be kind of cool so let's let's go with sand almond i want something that's going to be a little a little brighter so that it takes the uh it takes the sunlight in through the window we only have one window and it just it kind of kind of brightens up the room a little bit this is yeah this is this is going to be a decent color probably could have gone a little bit brighter but that's all right. But yeah, you want it to, to kind of be able to bounce off the walls, give you good video lighting and stuff. That's honestly something that I really kind of don't like about my office. It's a little little dark, all fake lights, all like, you know, LED lights and stuff. There's no natural sunlight coming in, which natural sunlight is typically what looks the best, but that's all right. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna do this whole room this color. And then we're gonna work on the floors. Last wall here. Go ahead and get these last little sections and we're good to go. All right, that's been painted. That light switch is gonna have to go. Overall doesn't look too bad. What's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sell that. Let's sell this. That light coming through the door does not look very good. All right, cool. So, um, lighting and floor and everything else. Let's see what we got going on. So for floors, what do we wanna go with here? I don't mind the wood that we currently have going on. Um, let me let me see what this looks like compared. Yeah, I feel like I kind of like that a little bit better. All right, so we're gonna go with this. Put it under the doors as well, so it runs all the way through. Looks good to me. All right, boom, we got it. So that looks nice. Kind of matches out there a little bit better too. Uh, so we've got that. Let's go for lighting. So we go for lamps, ceiling lamps. See what we got going on. I feel like some recessed lighting in an office would look pretty cool. So we're let's. I say we just do rows of of three. And we could take the time to perfectly line these up, but I don't think I'm going to. I think we're just going to kind of randomly. We'll try to get them close, but I'm not trying to. Not trying to kill myself trying to make it perfect. Yeah, that looks that looks pretty nice. They're they're pretty oh man. The thing is I'm a bit of a perfectionist, so give me give me a second. Alright, that's a little bit better. It's not perfect, but it's close. Alright, cool. So we've got all that. What do we want to go with next? I'm thinking we put the, the desk here so we have the sunlight coming in through. So we are gonna look for furniture, desks, and we're gonna put a cool desk in here. Ooh. The these are new desks. I don't think we've seen these desks before. I'm gonna go with a gray desk with the dark legs. Hmm. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. All right, so we've got that. Looks good to me. Now we're gonna have to get some electronics on there. Electronic equipment. Uh, we're gonna go with a an HD monitor. Whoa. Okay, that's. <laughs> <laughs> That's way too big. So let's let's go ahead and back out of that. We're gonna go with a regular monitor We're gonna buy a couple of these bad boys. So we're gonna set them up like this Because everybody needs two screens one for the chat the comments and everything another one for actually playing uh, Let's go ahead and uh, Let's get a keyboard up here looks good Should have a mouse as well, right? Yep computer mouse buy one of these Looks good to me. Buy this thing. Don't really want to leave your computers on the ground, so we're gonna we're gonna put it up on our setup. All right, looks good to me. Uh, is there anything else we need here? Loudspeaker, speaker. Ooh, speaker mountains might be kind of cool. Let's buy a couple of these and set them up 
on the edges. Yeah. That's dope. All right, so we've got those and then um, a chair. Furniture, chairs. We're gonna need some sort of an office chair, just like that. Couple different color options. We're gonna stay with the black. Your boy actually just got a new office chair. You guys should see it in the video soon. I'm really excited about it. This thing's kinda falling apart, if you guys can't tell. But, uh, all right, so we got our little setup there. That looks good. What else do we want to put in here? Hmm. This could be like, this is gonna be like our VR area, I think. So you know what, we should actually paint this wall green because then we could, could kind of use a green screen to, to mask the background out and have it be straight VR. And by the way, that's something that, VR is gonna be a huge thing on this, this channel this year, guys. Like seriously, it's, it's gonna be pretty nutty. I'm really excited for it. So make sure you guys are ready for it because it's, it's gonna be a lot of fun. All right, so we've got our VR wall here. I wish you could buy like giant cameras and stuff. You can't, unfortunately. Um, I'm gonna set up some lights as if they were like professional lights, you know what I mean? We're gonna set these up like they're like actual like studio lights, you know what I mean? Because unfortunately, you just, you don't have all the options that I want in this. All right, so we've got our studio lights there for the VR setup. That's pretty cool. And uh, all right, that doesn't look bad. Now, we do need, we need some posters on the walls and I'm kind of excited about this. We need to start doing more of this, so let me know if you guys have ideas. But uh, basically what you could do is you could import your photos, which I've done some of, and uh, I've got a couple of different posters I'm gonna do. So we're gonna create a painting out of this. We're gonna buy, the, oh wow, that is a big, big, big picture, bro. Are you kidding me? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go with that there. That's pretty dope, I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna put that. We've got the Fortnite map, which we're gonna make a little bit smaller. This is still probably gonna be way too big. We can put the Fortnite map up over here. Nice. And then we've got, uh, we've got another one here. Keep calm and game on. We're gonna make this thing huge and put it on this wall. Bro, that's dope. The fact that you can put your own custom images is so sick. So yeah, there we have it guys. Nice little, little setup. Not too bad, nothing too crazy to be honest, but you don't really need anything too crazy. Like we could, we could put some poofs over here in the corner. Little love sack. I love love sacks everywhere I go. All right, if I could, if I could spell poof, that would be nice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy a couple of poof, or actually probably just one poof. Put one little poof in the corner. Dude, that's, that's not too bad. I like that. That looks good. Holy cow. That is a crazy big poster. But all right, there's a little office. Now we're gonna get into the kitchen, and I think we're gonna leave this kitchen kind of how it is. I like where it is. Everything fits, it all looks good. We're just gonna have to kind of edit some of the, the you know, paint and the backsplashes. We're gonna make a living room and stuff like that. So this should be good. So for the kitchen, I think I'm gonna go white and then I might go with like more of a cream for the living room just to kind of warm things up a little bit. I don't know. Don't want too much white cause it gets kind of, kind of stark. You know what I mean? You don't want that stark white look where it just kind of hurts to look at, so. We'll see, we'll probably do a little bit of a, a backsplash in the kitchen as well. We'll see, see what it ends up looking like. Definitely gonna change out the tiles and stuff, but just gonna start with a base of white so we kinda have a direction to go with. So that's the kitchen. White looks pretty good, I like it. I think we're gonna darken up the tiles underneath just so it's not too much, but I just, I feel like it makes that, the, the black countertops and stuff pop. Now I'm gonna try, uh, I'm gonna try this. Hold on. Oh, that's not very beigey. I was thinking that was gonna be a little bit more beige. Hold hold on. Let's try um peaches. No. I'm trying to go for like a light beige. Copper coin, cream, gray beige, natural beige. What does that look like? Some of these they look so different. Hmm. I don't love that. Maybe I'm I'm going for more of a brown. So we could try, uh, let's try this bright peach. Some of these, they just look so different on the walls compared to what they look like in the can. 
Yeah, I feel like that kind of warms it up a little bit. What do we think about that? It's not bad. I mean, we need, we need to put like something, we'll put the table here, we'll put something here to kind of cut it off a little bit. I do like the color. It's just like, I can't even, I can't paint any of this. This is just, it has to stay white. So like, I feel like we're kind of forced to use white because all this stuff over here has to stay it, which isn't my favorite, but we'll, uh, we'll keep it for now. We'll, we'll see what the, the rest of this ends up looking like. I do feel like we need to do the same flooring all the way through apart from the kitchen. Just a straight up brown. So we're gonna start this over in the corner. You know what, we can just do, let's just do the whole thing. Do the whole thing and then we'll change the kitchen after. All right, boom, looks good to me. So we've got that. Now for the kitchen, what do we wanna do for the kitchen? I feel like we kinda need a darker. Hmm. Great carpet. No, definitely don't want that. Is this going to be too much? I hate that you have to pay for it to see it. Hmm. What do you guys think about that? I don't feel like that's bad. I mean, it's, it kind of ties everything together. It's not my favorite. But I don't think it's bad either. But if we do this, I don't think we're going to do any sort of backsplash. But I, I'm down with it. I, I don't I don't mind that. I think it's it's all right. So let's dude. I I honestly don't like the radiators. I think they're really ugly. So we're gonna put a, a, a table here. So we need some furniture, tables. I feel like the kitchen tables are one of the weaker the weaker things in this game. Could go with the black. I, they, it's just like that doesn't look good. It's got the gold accents. So I don't know. I feel like the tables are definitely one of the weakest. The weakest points of this but let's just let's go with something like that all right so we've got that then we're gonna need some chairs some kitchen chairs something like this red white cream how's the cream look cream probably doesn't go with the kitchen huh so we're gonna stick with white Go ahead and tuck these chairs in. Looks nice. Just like that. All right. I mean, that's a pretty nice kitchen. I, I don't mind it. We definitely need some sort of a divider here, though. The fact that it just stops from the tile to the, the wood is kind of odd. I don't know what we would put as a divider, though. We'd need some sort of a cupboard or something, but that doesn't really... That doesn't really make sense here, you know what I mean? I really wish we could put like a, a bar or something, like a breakfast bar, I don't know. I don't know, dude. It's just, I feel like the kitchen doesn't really match with the rest of the house, but we're just, we're, we're gonna roll with it. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna put some, uh, some kitchen paintings in here. So I've got some cool abstract paintings, like this one is, uh, is like oranges and stuff. So let's, let's put this here. Oh, wow. That's a, that's a big boy. That is a that is a real big boy, but we can make it work. Oh, maybe not, dude. We are spending so. I just I just realized how expensive these are. It, it's not really meant to go that way, but we're gonna keep it. I like that it's adding a little bit of of pop to the room. You know what I mean? Like it it makes it a little more colorful. This one we could probably go a little bit bigger, and we're gonna. Put it down towards the ground. Not the best spot. I wish I wish we could go opposite. But yeah, that that adds a little bit of color. I like it. We can definitely put like a colorful. Uh, I'm gonna go here. Colorful plant. Let's go with this. We're gonna make it nice and colorful. Buy it now. Put it right in the middle of the table. That's pretty big, but still, you guys see what I mean. Kind of adding a little bit of little bit of, of, of color and pop to that area over here we could do another one I also got a uh, a wave and a guitar that are kind of like that same abstract look so let's buy this guitar we're gonna put the guitar up between the windows the wave maybe over here oh that wave painting is 
big. That's cool, dude. All right, we're gonna have to make it a little bit smaller. It's not gonna fit anywhere. Little wave painting. That's kind of too close. Hmm. Maybe over here. Yeah, that looks nice. These are kind of weird. I don't like those. All right, not bad. You know what? This would look better if it was bigger in the opposite way. So let's make it bigger and put it this way. That's cool. All right, so we got a little bit of art and stuff in here. Now it's gonna be time to set up the living room. Let's go with a corner sofa here. What do we wanna go with for the pattern? I wish we had more options. Let's, dude, let's go weird. Let's go with the red. Let's, we're, we're going off the deep end now, to be honest. It, it stopped making sense a while ago, but that's, that's just fine. All right, we need some actual lighting in here. Um, lamps, ceiling lamps. Go with the same thing. So we're gonna, we're gonna set this up. Like this, boom. Add a little bit of lighting. All right, so we've got the, the red there. We could have, what else do we have here? Furniture, we could add like a, a little chair. Yeah, looks good to me. That doesn't really match at all, Never mind. Armchair, here we go. And we've got the red. Let's buy it. All right, so we could have a little, little armchair here. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm going with anymore, dude. <laughs> This, this house kind of had a couple of different ideas in it and it just kind of went off the rails, but that's fine. I'm, I'm not worried about it. All right, we're going to get a coffee table. Um, what do we want to go with here? I have no idea. Nothing really truly matches all that well. How's this look? Yeah, that's not bad. So we can set up a little, little coffee table. We could get a lamp in the, the corner. Lamps. Standing lamps. Oops, nope. Not a sconce ball. Standing lamps. We're going to put a lamp in the corner. Oriental lamp. Why not? Sounds good to me. Got it. Turn it on. Cool. Okay. That's honestly not bad. Like, I, I, I like how that looks together. I don't know if it really fits next to this kitchen, but I like where we're going with it. So we've got all that. And then, uh, of course, we're going to have to have some sort of like a little TV stand as well as a... Uh, uh, a TV. Hmm. What are we going to put the TV on? Chest of drawers, bookcase. This is kind of odd, but I guess we'll go with it. Kind of center it. Acts as a divider. And then we could put the TV up on there. Just like so. You know, I... Just like that. All right. So the TV's on. I don't know where the cords went, but... This is cool. I I, I don't mind it. I feel like the kitchen could have could have gone a lot better. I don't... I feel like the tiles are what are throwing me off the most, but I don't know what else I want to put in there. If that makes sense. I just like... These rooms honestly probably could be split up by a wall like if we just put a, a wall along here you know what let's do that i think that's going to be our best bet i mean like i said i, I would have loved for this to be kind of like a bar area you don't have that option in this game so i feel like this this works much much better i think that room looks good together i think this room looks good together they didn't really look good like right next to each other and you know what we could sell this we could go to our photos and we can make this a lot bigger and put it up on the wall because we really love we love wine in this house. So, boom, look at that. That's pretty dope. I feel like everything kind of goes together a little bit better now. So, uh, there you guys have it. I mean, think about when we first walked in, it was all tight and weird and everything. This, I think works much much better than uh, what we originally had but however there's one last thing i want to add so every morning when i wake up i want to be reminded to chase and follow my dreams so we've got to add one final photo in here so i'm going to add this photo this one right here we're probably going to have to make it a little bit smaller 
and we are gonna put it on the wall right there, just like that. So every morning, as soon as I open my eyes, I look up, and I'm reminded to chase my dreams. Never stop reaching for those goals, baby. So uh, there you guys have it. I would say that's a house complete. Babe, come here real quick. I'm supposed to show you this house I made. What do you think of it? It's all right. Kitchen, living room. This is my office. Pretty accurate. If we go upstairs, I wasn't really sure what to do with upstairs because there was such weird spacing. Is this one of those scary ones? No. So this is like a kid's room or whatever. Yeah. And then I tried to recreate our, our master bedroom. This is my favorite part. We need to do this in real life. Look at that. Look at that high quality detail. That is Woo! really not an image I want to see of myself when I go to bed every night. Thanks, <laughs> so. <laughs> anyway, guys, I think we're all done. We had a good episode. I had a good time. Hope you guys did too. And uh, I'm going to see you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.